Yo, what is going on guys, it's your boy MTG back here with our video today, and today guys, we're going to be opening tons of packs, obviously huge day in Madden Ultimate Team today, Money Manziel, Johnny Football, whatever you want to call him, is in the game once again, Johnny Manziel, also the Ed Reed card looks absolutely insane too, let's not overshadow the ball hawk. Before we get into the video, if you guys do enjoy the video, like, subscribe, comment down below, turn on post notifications. 90% of you guys watch this video right now are not subscribed, so do me a favor, just hit the like button and the subscribe button. And without further ado, you guys can see, we have 68,000 training, we're just going to keep re-rolling this into it. Of course, the mystery pack, um, you know, it might not be the best method to get these AKA cards, but there is a potential. But 87 AKAs, super inflated, so we got some stuff to pull for. We got some stuff to pull pull for first pack right there not great 83 drone four but hopefully it's better star elites are the one pack i want to see out of this or pro playmakers um 84 zackards with an 80 d on not the correct aka card but we'll take the animations so um huge day today what you guys be doing um i wouldn't pick up manzel today because i'm assuming he's going to be around 700 to 800 k which i mean it, that is fairly expensive for a car let's not lie that is a very very pricey card so do what you want with it. Um, I think he's a really good card, but is he worth 700k? Probably not. Maybe if he gets around 500k, I'd consider, but um, he probably will not reach that point for a tiny bit of time, especially not today. He's probably not even going to be anywhere near that. So, um, just play it smart, man. Don't go put all your eggs in one basket. Buy Manziel, because who knows? We obviously got Most Feared Part 3 coming out. We might see a crazy Most Feared card in Part 3, so... You know, just be smart with your um, earnings in this game as you pull Christian Wilkins 85 overall right there. As I'm saying, be smart. I'm ripping these packs and not being smart. So you guys can see how logistically I follow my own advice. But I'm doing it for the content, doing it for the entertainment. Um, just be smart in this game. No need to go out and spend tons of coins if you don't need to. Right there, 80 Bobby Wagner is an okay pull along with the other 80. It's okay pack. So... Um, 6 2000 training remaining. We'll just keep opening, see what we can pull. Legend pack right here. Can we see a full legend? That'd be awesome. I have not pulled a 89 plus full legend in forever, so I would like to pull one of those at some point. But 84 overalls, I will take out of those packs. Those are W's, in my opinion. Um, with where I got this training about, about 34k a pack, so not super expensive compared to what it usually is. 87 Kazir white right there. Super, super nice pull. Um, 59,000 training remaining. Hopefully we can see at least one full AK. Get me a little pumped up. That'd be fantastic. But they're, they're rare. They're not easy to pull. 85 Alan Lazard and uh, 78, 77 right there. 85 overall of max fantasy. I'll take it. It helps make back the coins and gets us close to breaking even off a max fantasy pack, which rarely does happen. So, legend pack right here. Hopefully we can see... A big card pulled. Um, nothing. 85 VIX. Okay. That's not too bad. Didn't pull an 80 right there. So we'll definitely take it. Continuing on. Let's see something big. EA. Come on. Pro Playmaker. Come on. Let me see a 90 overall right here. 83 Devonta Smith. 81 Fred Taylor. And 80, 81 Kenny Moore. Okay. Um... Eh, it's, it's an okay back 80 and 81 plus we only lose about 700 training so it's not horrible not fantastic not horrible it's probably about breaking even so um as we pull nothing right there crazy day of nfl stuff yesterday you think about it got a couple upsets obviously the giants knocking off the commanders being a big one other games that mattered a lot that you know went the opposite way um, Steelers beat the Rams. My Steelers end up beating the Rams. I know I'm wearing the Vikings jersey right now. They played tonight. Vikings 49ers should be a solid game with all the 49ers injuries. Um, but anyways, um, I forget what I was even saying. The Steelers probably should not have won the game. They, they got a tiny bit lucky, but sometimes luck goes a long way in the NFL. I'm not going to lie to you guys. So I'm not going to complain. Continuing on 53k left. Still got a ton to open in these packs. Um, Let's see one or two big pulls, and I will be pretty thrilled. I would like to see an 89 plus out of all these. Preferably, again, maybe like an AKA card or something like that would be even better, but I have a feeling it's not going to happen. I have a feeling it's not going to happen. We did pull an 87 so far, so that's solid. Um, the pack, the training cost me about 1.6 million, I believe. 
so not too bad 1.7 million something like that um that pack right there is an okay pack we'll get rid of these cards right here that was pretty actually pretty solid pack i forgot we pulled 85 as i scrolled past it but we'll take it uh first unsolvable elite pack can we pull an 87 plus maybe even a 90 um 84 overall like 84s are basically gonna pay for the pack itself so it's not bad right there 84s are w's another unstoppable lead i wouldn't like to pull a ton of these but um they won't hurt too bad 86 nico collins right there that's a nice little pull sometimes that 81 plus slot gives you some fire out of it so legend pack see full legends still have not seen a full one um highest overall is in 85 i believe 85 out of it so nothing super high at the moment but Sorry, right, still got time. Still got time. Um, I don't know how long I want to make this video. I mean, we're already six minutes in and we're only down like 12,000 training or so. So I don't want to make this, you know, a forever long video. So we'll just kind of see. We'll play it by year. Um, maybe get a couple good pulls and call it quits. But um, come on. Pro Playmaker is a very, very huge pack in this because there's potential. We can see a big AKA animation out of this. So many high overall cards you could potentially hit out of this pack. That one right there. Does not do us justice, and 84 Lamar Jackson, though, is okay. Continuing on right here, um, Star Elite, come on, let me see something big. Star Elite pack, we're going to get Coin Quick Sell, 83 Corey Lindsley, which as also pulled an AK right there. Any Coin Quick Sell, Star Elite, man, thumbs up, man. Those are not super, super nice, because most of the time you're going to pull something um, pretty, pretty good. And, I mean, we got the low end spectrum right there. 83 no fan not what we're looking for but we do also get an 80 which is okay um but yeah i mean i'll take i'll take coin quick sales out of star elites any days as we hit three of them in a row can we see something good right here probably an 84 yep 84 along with the 83 trey white so not too bad right there i don't want to say it but we have not seen the pack quite yet if you know what i'm talking about um it's probably gonna be coming soon though probably gonna be coming soon star elite pack what do we got 85 right there along with an 81 about break even pack we'll take it just kind of stalls off can we see some more legend packs more pro playmakers right on cue pro playmaker what are we going to get right here um can we see an 87 plus 84 jonathan allen and 81 so not fantastic right there not even gonna lie to you it was not a great pack but it's okay it's okay we did pull an 84 gets us close to breaking even gets us close next pack up we're going to see the Star Elite once again. Can we see an 87 plus? Please. 81 Eric Stokes. 88 overall champion. We'll take it, man. We'll take it. It's Bo Jackson. I believe he's the cheapest one. It doesn't matter, though. 88 overall pull. We'll definitely take it. It's about 120K right there. So that's not too shabby at all. Max Fantasy. Um, 88 again would be fantastic if you want to give it to me, EA. Um, 82 David Ninjoku. That's an okay pull. Apparently, I didn't click on Ninjoku. Um, I don't know, I forget, I think he had a nice reception against the Colts yesterday, I was kind of tuning in and out of that game, I, I was literally recording a video while doing it, if you guys watched the video yesterday, um, Pro Playmaker, let me see an 85 plus minimum out of this pack, right there on cue, Joe Burrow, Joe Shiesty, I believe they were on a bye week this week, um, we'll hold on to him, because he's a punter, but, um, not a bad pack, not a bad pack right there, gonna make a little bit of training, plus an 80 overall Jared Goff, We'll definitely take it. Would prefer the plus 10 overall version of him, but it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard to get. Legend pack. We haven't seen a full one yet. There's an 87 and an 86 in the same pack. And an 87 AK for 150K right now. That's pretty nice pull. He might even be a little more expensive. They might be about 160K now. You know what? I will definitely take that pack along with the 86 really Roof, which is the most expensive A6 Legend. That's a really, really nice pack right there. And that might save us in this back opening in the long run um because we haven't pulled too many crazy stuff right now i mean we did pull the 88 overall bo jackson which is nice but besides that really nothing else super crazy yet um obviously we don't have you know um adrian peterson these packs anymore so we can't pull you know ap but there is the money manzel and ed reed which are both probably 700k plus minimum right now ed reed was selling for almost 900k um whenever you know um the promo just came out 83 overalls right there sure we'll get rid of them we'll take them um only a loss of about 500 training which isn't that much anymore um unstoppable leap pack what do we got 
Come on, let me see an 84 at least. Okay, 84 overall, Marcus Mariota. We'll take it. His Oregon Ducks catch a nice win over the... Um, I'm trying to remember who they played this week. I cannot remember who Oregon played for the life of me. 82 Jimmy Ward, which isn't glitched. 83, which we'll take. Um, along with an 81 Michael Strahan. Solid pack, solid pack right there. We'll take it. Um, got th 35k left. We'll probably just try to run through it all. Um, give you guys a nice big pack opening. Legend pack right here. Come on, let me see something big. Let me see a full legend. Still have not seen a full legend yet in this pack opening. 85 Charles Woodson though. I'm fine with an 85. I won't complain. Although it's not my, you know, 87, 88 legend. It is an okay pull. Unstoppable Elite, let me see, an 87 plus, no, they're going to give me two 80s and an 81, the bare minimum, fantastic, but we have pulled an 87, um, aka car, and we also end up pulling a uh, another 87, I just can't remember, well, there's another 87 right there, two 87s, one back, Cameron Curl and Kirk Cousins, super nice pack right there, I cannot remember the last time I pulled a full headliners player, and then the Kirk Cousins is a nice little cherry on top, we ended up pulling the most feared 87, as I was thinking of it as well. A legend pack. What do you get me? Let me see an 87 plus out of this. 86 Troy P. Solid pull along with an 84 Dan Dedorf. I will definitely take these, that pack right there. These packs right now, they're probably going to break me about even minimum. I mean, they're doing solid right now. Obviously, we can't, you know, not hit anything for the rest of the pack opening, but um, they're solid right now. And again, I don't know how we've avoided that one pack, which I'm not going to mention because it's going to have to come at some point. Um, but we have for it now, and it's really, really paying out and helping us make back our coins. Um, this pack right here, 81 Legere Sneed and Jawan Johnson, a couple 77 overalls. It's fine, it's fine. Um, I have a feeling we're going to get a stretch of like five of them in a row. And again, I'm not mentioning them because every time I do mention them, they pop up. But right now, it might be glitched. I'm not going to lie, guys, because I don't know how we have not pulled one of them. But I also don't know how we have not pulled a full legend. So maybe it evens out. 85 DeMarcus Ware right there. Solid. Start hanging on to those cards. Probably another week and we get an overall bump. So do what you want with that information. Max Fantasy Pack right here. Can we pull a 85 plus? I don't know if you guys saw it. That was two Coin Quick Sell cards right there. It's 166k in Coin Quick Sells. I'll take it, man. I will take it. 85 Quint Williams Coin Quick Sell tied. For my second highest, I guess it's the type of second highest in the game too, because 86 is the only one higher. Um, but I only hit 186, and I've barely hit any 85 coin quick sell. So um, me hitting that right there, it's a nice little bonus right there. I'll take it. I'll take it for myself. Um, yeah, that might put us over the edge of maybe actually making some coins off the pack opening if these packs continue to heat up. Um, a 90 overall right here, that would be amazing. 284 so though, I'm not going to complain. Next pack up. Um, hopefully this pack opening, if I could profit, takes me over 8 million coins. Obviously, got nowhere near that yet since C1.5, um, but got tons of stuff to sell. Um, need to sell them ASAP, though, before um, we see Team of the Week and also um, Most Fear Part 2. So, need to get on that, you know, need to start, you know, selling, completing sets, doing stuff like that. You know, take an hour of my day and just try to get everything cleared out. It sucks, but you do have to do it. Maybe, you know, Monday Night Football tonight, I'll turn it on 88 Charles Woodson. Right there, finally a full legend pull. Love it. And also, luckily, it's my expensive 88, so we'll take it. Probably still around 160k ish. And there it is, folks. So we opened probably 60k in these packs, and we finally hit the first gold plus. So I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. Now, granted, I'm sure we'll get back to back now. Unstoppable elites. Okay. I mean, I'm down with the EA. I'm down with it. Um, right there, 85 Mark Andrews right there, had himself a nice little day on National Tight Ends Day yesterday, um, had two touchdowns and, you know, healthy amount of receiving yards as well. So he got his workload on his holiday, um, right there, 76 overall in round number one, not fantastic, but an 85 Nate Herbig right there. I'm going to hold on to him. It's a Steelers player. Steelers team teams oftentimes sell for a little bit more of a premium. So I'm going to hold on to it and not quick sell it. It might be 35, 40K compared to the typical 20,000 coins you see for an 85 after tax. Legend pack right here. Can we hit another full legend? I'd be thrilled as we hit an 84 Stefan Gilmore Gilly Locks right there. I'm chill with an 84 and a couple of legend pieces right there. Um, got about 15,000 or so left. There it is right there, another gold plus, two and 4K. 
you knew it was going to happen at some point. But if we can walk out pulling less than like four, honestly, like I'd be pretty pumped. I'd be pretty, pretty pumped. Legend pack right there. Can we see a full legend once again, EA? Can we see the animation maybe? Here we go. Nope. 81 Junior Sale. So, um, as we approach the end of this pack opening, I think we did okay. I don't think we did bad. Um, considering, you know, we hit a couple of nice coin quick sell cards. I'll definitely take it. Hit um, a fair amount of 87s too. It did hit 180, 288s actually, because we also hit the Bo Jackson. I completely forgot about him. Um, so overall, I think we did pretty, pretty solid. But not out of the woods yet. Not out of the woods yet. Can we see one more nice little pull? One more 87 plus. And I'll be, you know, pretty happy with how this pack opening went. This could definitely be the pack to do it. Legends pack. Highest hit potential probably. Um, 81, 83, and an 82. I just realized we haven't seen a Star Elite in a while, so if we can see one of those two, I'd be pretty pumped. We haven't pulled too many of those, but, um, I'm, again, we've avoided the plague in this pack, so, you know, I'm not going to complain if we don't pull a few of them. Um, right here, this pack, um, nothing much, just, you know, a ton of golds right there. Then the 82, Landon Dickerson. Got about six more of these packs, maybe seven if we hit something good. Um, here we go. We're going to get Max Fantasy. Max Fantasy, I know you want to pop me out. A Money Manzel right here. I know that's what you've been waiting for. You know, 80 Greg the Leg. 14,000 coins right there. Quick sell. I'll take it, man. I will definitely take it. As we end off here, got five more packs remaining. One more 87 plus. EA, I'll walk away a happy man. Like I said, Legend Pack. Here we go. This is going to be the one. It's actually going to be an 89 overall Legend. Paul Krause, I'm predicting it right now. It is not, but the 86 Brian Allen is a nice little pull right there. We will just quick sell that. No need to hold on to him, um, considering that, you know, probably not going to be able to sell him for much more than what his training value is. And the second I quick sell that, we do end up hitting the gold plus pack. So thank you, VA. 76 Emmanuel Forbes right there. A couple more of these packs, and then we'll call it quits, obviously. We'll be out of training. We'll kind of review quickly what we got overall. Not a bad pack opening. 81 Ed Reed right there. Hey, that's a nice little pack. 81 TJ Edwards, too. I'll definitely take that. Definitely take that. Along with the Michael Thomas and Byron Murphy. For a nice little Max Fantasy. Um, it's an okay pack. It's an okay pack. Obviously, again, we'd like to see an 87 plus. But you got to make do with what you got. You got to make do with what you got. Um, 82 and an 80 right there. Okay. Solid. Solid. Not fantastic. Not terrible. Final couple of packs. Let me see another Star Elite Legends Pro Playmaker. If I see one more Max Fantasy, I'm about to lose my mind because I feel like we pulled 85 of them in this pack opening. Maybe not, though. Um, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. I think we're going to walk out here probably up. Not significantly, but a little bit. We're going to walk out up. So I'm not going to complain. Unstoppable Elite Pack. Let me see an 87 plus. Come on. 84, 81. Two 84s. I'm chill with it. Most likely our final pack right here. What are you going to walk me off on? Be a legend pack. And we're going to get Pro Playmaker. This got potential. Let me see. Money Manzel. 79. 84 right there. I will take it. Then the rest of the cards equate to nada. And yep, we're not going to have enough to roll one more. So we're going to call it quits right there. So overall, how did we do? I think we did okay. You got to realize we did pull about 225,000 coins in um coin quick sell cards so right now we really only need to make back about 1.2 million out of our entire binder which do we have 1.2 million in our entire binder i think we probably do these cards right here we'll call it about 300k combined 87 overalls yes and see we end up pulling four 87s right there i had the rail reeves already in the binder so if we call these 100k a pop I mean, we're looking right there, 700k, and then with the rest of these cards as well, I think we're going to end up profiting slightly, not a ton, but it's going to be a profit. So if you guys did enjoy this video, I need you guys to do me a favor, like, subscribe, comment down below, turn on post notifications, and thank you guys for watching once again. I'm NTG. Peace out.